up? It's Elise and today I'm going to be sharing with you five must-have minimalist items. I'm really excited to share all of these things with you. Before I jump into it, I just want to let you know that I share videos on my channel about self-love, minimalism, fitness, eating raw food, my life here in Hawaii, empowerment, all that good stuff. So if you're interested in those topics, definitely click the little red subscribe button down below and yeah, then you won't miss any of my videos. And I guess without further ado, we will jump into it. So number one is to go wear. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you've probably seen me talk about this before. This is to go wear. You can see the little tag right there. And this is bamboo cutlery, bamboo utensils. In here is a spoon, a fork, and a knife. And there's also little chopsticks that come in this packet as well, or this package. Um, but those are in the kitchen right now because I use those every night when I have salad. So I really love this. It's perfect, it is compact, and it's everything that I need when I need to eat my meals. Whether I am cutting up a banana, scooping out a papaya, using chopsticks or a fork for my salad, this has got me covered. And I just wanna let you know that I'm gonna put all of the links to all of these items down in the description below, so if you're interested in checking these out and adding them to your own life, definitely check out those links down below. Okay, on to the second must-have minimalist item. That is going to be my Zero Shoes. They're actually called the Z-Trek Sandal, and they're really, really awesome. You can wrap them up and curl them up into a little ball that's the size of your fist if you want to. Um, something that's great about these is that you can actually feel the ground beneath your feet. That's probably my favorite part about them, while your feet are actually like strapped in really, really well. Um, so you can actually run in these if you wanted to. They're not like flip-flops, your feet aren't flopping around, so um, these are super awesome zero shoes. My third must-have minimalist item is this reusable bag. This is by the brand called Chico Bag, and it's really, really awesome. It's super durable. You can't feel it in the video, but you can kind of see that like smooth slide. It's just like really, really good quality. It actually has a little attachment here, so you can click them together if you want to. Um, I don't do that, but you could. Uh, these are really awesome because you can save plastic. That's like a whole nother video I'm gonna record is the issue with plastic in our world today. Um, but I love this, super eco-friendly to have your own reusable bag. It's pretty ginormous. Like, it's a pretty good size bag. Um, I'll show you. You can see it's pretty big. If you're like an average size person, it's gonna look pretty nice around your shoulder. It looks kind of silly on me because I'm small, but it's really good quality and I use this when I'm getting fruit from the farmer's market or really any time that I'm shopping and I just don't want to have a plastic bag. So the cool thing about this is that you can literally stuff it into itself like really, really quickly and it's super compact. And you know when you're like a little kid and you are at a sleepover and you have to roll up your sleeping bag and fit it into the sleeping bag case? That's really difficult, but this is so easy. You saw how quick I just did that and bam, it's ready to go. You just bring that with you when you're shopping. Um, so that is number three, must have minimalist item. Number four is a small backpack. This one is from LL Bean, you can see right there. And it is an 18 liter pack. I love this, it's kind of what I use instead of a purse is just this little backpack. Everything fits in here. It can be like a day pack or I can actually fit everything that I need in here for a full week if I'm traveling. So this is totally a must have item, is a small little backpack. And last but not least, number five, is a small laptop. Mine is actually uploading some uh, videos right now, so I can't close it all the way, but you can see this is the new MacBook. It's very similar to the MacBook Air, and it's super, super thin and really, really lightweight. This is like nothing, absolutely nothing. Uh, I used to have the MacBook Pro, which was quite a bit heavier, and when I would put that in this backpack, it was just like a little bit too much for my back to handle if I was walking around. 
um, or traveling, like getting on a train or something like that. This is so lightweight, I barely even feel it in that backpack. So that is must have minimalist item. Number five is a lightweight computer. It doesn't have to be a Mac, it can be any brand that you want, but having it like a really, really small size, like 11 to 13 inches is just really ideal. Make sure it's lightweight. Um, I have a friend who has a thicker MacBook or a thicker <laughs> laptop computer, but it is 11 inches wide. So even though it's thicker, it's still super, super light. That is ideal, is to have lightweight things when you are looking to keep it minimal and compact. So that's all I have to share with you today. I wanted to keep it pretty short, um, but I just wanted to share, these are all things that I use pretty much on a daily basis. These shoes I'm always wearing when I'm outside of the house. This bag when I am shopping for anything and don't want to use a plastic bag. These I use every single day and one meal um, at least and my little backpack whenever I'm traveling out for an adventure around the island or staying at somebody's house for a few days. This is just ideal. Even if I'm going to a coffee shop, I'll just slip my laptop in here with a couple of other things that I need, like headphones and whatnot, and I'm ready to go. And it's just so compact and lightweight. And then last but not least, like I said, a lightweight computer is just ideal if you have a job that you need to use a computer for. So that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was short and sweet. And if you liked it, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you want me to record more videos like this and share some video ideas down in the comments below if you have any because I want to record what you want to see. Um, and of course, let my passion flow throughout that. I love talking about simplifying. So definitely share this video with any friends and family members that you feel like could use a little boost of inspiration to downsize their life and just get some more compact items. Um, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.